I'm working on the design for the nose cabinet. It's going to be different than in art. I want to put the these three vacuums in it. One on the bottom on the floor and I'll just, uh, there'll be no shelf just floor. I'll put a three quarter inch strip across uh, to keep it from sliding out. And then there'll be a shelf for each of the other two with just enough space that I could easily get them in and out. I'll leave a little bit of clearance. And then there'll be another shelf up here. So this will be the, the next shelf up. So this one, the top will be closer to up here. I've just stacked them just for measuring purposes. And then in this one, my plan is to put the uh, filter, filter bags and, and vacuum uh, kind of stuff. Possibly the hoses, I'll see as I, as I develop it. The shelves are not going to be readily adjustable. I'm going to put them in with pocket screws and they're not going to pull out like the last one did. I just need, you know, fixed shelves. So I will do them with pocket screws, probably three or four on each side. And that way, if I uh, need to make an adjustment, then I can take the vacuum out, pull the pocket screws and move it up and down. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make the shelves go back into the nose or if I'm just going to score them off in the back because I'm not worried about the vacuums falling off. The top one, I'll probably make it go back in the, in the shape of the nose because I'll be storing a lot of things up in there, the, like I said, the bags and such. <clears throat> it's going to be a simple cabinet. Uh, it's just going to have two sides on it, and it looks like they're going to be somewhere around 16 inches wide with a... With a um, about a 49 degree angle on it to match the nose and what I plan on doing is I'm going to put three-quarter ultralight on the nose from this corner into here uh, and I'll leave the diamond plate exposed because I want to be able to remove that I'll do that on both sides and the reason I'm going to do that is uh, I'll be using those walls uh, to Number one, I'll attach uh, these, the two sides of these shelves. I'll be screwing them back to the three-quarter just for stability as well as to the floor. But also, we'll be hanging stuff on those two walls. These walls don't need it. Um, mostly going to be covered with cabinets, both sides. And I don't bang things around in my trailer, so I'm not worried about banging up the sides. I've had comments on that, but not, it's a zero issue. So no need to add cost and weight and then labor to, uh, to skin it. I like the aluminum, although I'm not going to see a bunch of it again because the cabinets will be hanging off the studs. Most of, most of it will be covered up. So with the information I've gathered now, I will be able to go back to SketchUp and finish designing the nose cabinet. I'm pretty close to being done with the actual design so that I can take it over in the layout then and, and make a plan out of it that I can uh, build this off of. I've got a little extra time because I'm waiting on the ultralight to get here. It's being shipped from Florida and I didn't go through Lowe's. Uh, I went directly through Moreland. They're not going to be doing that. They want to go through Lowe's, but uh, because I'm, you know, uh, doing this trailer and had this particular um, project and I wanted to use their product and they were excited about it. So I worked it out with them and they're, they're shipping me a, me a bunk of a variety of, of uh, plywoods based on my estimation for what I'm going to need. Hopefully I'll have extra. And as I mentioned, I'm going to, uh, next project uh, down here will be to try to pull this plywood up. I may just take a piece and see about pulling it up. I'm sure it's caulked down and stuff. So we'll see how easy it is to get up and what I have to disassemble because that would be the first thing I would do before I started putting cabinets in would be to change this and put that um, Moreland uh, non-skid in. It's pretty stuff and I, I think I'd like to, uh, to do that if it's, if it's not too much work. One more step in the progress of designing and getting ready to build the Smart Wood Shop. If you want to keep following along, be sure to subscribe. And when you subscribe, there's a little bell. If you click on that bell, it'll give you the option to get an email sent to you when I put up a video so you won't miss them. I've noticed a lot of people I subscribe to and follow, sometimes I don't see that they've posted and I think YouTube sort of picks and chooses when it lets you know. 
and they, they kind of fall off my feed and I have to go over to my subscriptions and look for them and go, why well, haven't seen anything from Serge in a long time? And sure enough, he's there, he's done three or four and I missed them. So I, I've picked the ones that are important to me and I've turned that bell on and, and I get an email notice now when, when, uh, when, when those content providers uh, put up a video that I want to see. If you want to build yourself a portable wood shop like the one I'm building here, remember the last trailer I had, Art, which was a proven design, those plans are available for you to go to my website and download them right now. You can click on the link in the description of the video down below, or you can click on the link in this video at the very end and go there as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.